be quiet. Oh, thank you. Neil. Now then, our courageous champion, as we heard, had virtually won the duel, but then refused to finish it. Why is that? I don't know, Your Majesty. I didn't have the courage. And I want the punishment to me. It will never be enough to obliterate the pain in my heart. In recognition, Count, of your courage, we cannot, in heart, condemn you to death. We sentence you instead to a life of isolation in the high tower. Take him away. But, Father, getting rid of the Count of Kuskan is the only way to get Fantagiru back. Oh, General, don't go yet. I would like to talk with you. Oh, not again. Who is it this time? Hold! Who goes there? We have come in peace to speak to your sovereign. I am King Romualdo. You may proceed. I am the king's daughter, and I order you to step back. Princess? The king's ordered me to speak to the prisoner a moment. Yes, princess. Yeah. Don't try to save me, Catherine. I deserve this. Ah, as soon as you're alone, drink this potion. It'll make you fall in a deep sleep. So deep as to give the impression that you were dead. No one will be able to wake you up for 30 days. Everyone will think that the Count of Guzgan is dead. After which, you, Fantagoro, can reappear, as if you had returned from a long journey. But it was Fantagoro who made the mistake. Not the Count of Gustan. He committed himself with honor. He did, Fantagoro. He did. You try to deceive us in every way. You corrupted the soothsayer. You forced a long and exhausting war upon the people. Because of your greed and your thirst for power, we therefore condemn you, General. I didn't deceive the people. You did. How oh, dare It wasn't my idea to send your Majesty daughter. Majesty King Romualdo, with the Baron of Ivaldo and the Baron of Cataldo. Carolyn, it's not arranged. Mm. 